there. Welcome to episode 120 of Girl Take the Lead, where each week we explore womanhood and leadership. And I'm your host, Yo Kenny. As we look at the holidays as a time for giving, why not give to ourselves? <laughs> Over the past couple of years, we've had some fabulous authors and covered some of the top books on the market, all with the goal of learning more about ourselves. So I thought you might like a list. You can pass along to anyone who asks you, what would you like this holiday? Or even if you're asking yourself, what would I like to give myself? Digging into books and researching important themes has been a key element of our podcast. I always have hoped that I could save you time and mine the books for the juicy stuff you'd find interesting. Since launching, we've discussed over 60 books. That's a boatload of books. (laughs) I had an empty bookcase when we started, and now it's full. So to help things along, I grouped the books into two categories. Those with authors that have been on the show, and those we covered without the authors. Let's start with the books where authors have been on the show. I saw five themes we've covered with these amazing women authors. One, leadership skills. Two, courageous women leaders. Three, diversity, equity, and inclusion leadership. Four, emotions and leadership. And five, some that were just plain fun. (laughs) I should say before we get started in this category that the books are listed by date of appearance on the show and are not ranked in any way. And by the way, the show notes will have links to the episodes in case you'd like to catch one if you missed it. And it'll also have links to Amazon for the books in case you want to check them out. So let's look at leadership skills first. We had Kathy McAfee's Sharpening Your Point and Defining You, which we discussed on the episode. And I found them as great resources for personal branding. We also had Jacqueline Farrington, The Non-Obvious Guide to Better Presentations, How to Present Like a Pro. And she had some great ideas in that for us. And we also had Nori Jabba, Keeping Your Seat at the Table. And that was really about how to keep us from being ignored or not listened to. The next group, Courageous Women Leaders, we have Colonel Kim Campbell, whose book was Flying in the Face of Fear, a fighter pilot's lessons on leading with courage. Who can forget her decision to land the airplane? And when she did, the support she got from pilots in her squadron on the radio, offering words of encouragement like, beautiful, way to go, nicely done, Casey. And Donna Rubin, her book was Speaking While Female, which reminded us that women have been speaking throughout history. For every effort to silence a woman, women did speak back. And that covers every ethnicity and race. But we just didn't acknowledge their words their presence in public. We had Minoshki Sina, and her book was A Daughter is Special, Letters from a Daughter in India to Her Daughter Living Abroad. And that reminded us to treasure our own rituals and record our traditions for future generations. In the DEI leadership, we had Juliana Hines, and her book was Leading on Purpose, The Black Woman's Guide to Shattering the Glass Ceiling. And she provided one of our first leadership definitions very early on in our podcast. And it went something like this. There are certain components of leadership that are essential at every level of an organization. Being a leader is not about a title, although plenty of people make it out to be. Leadership is a way of being. It is also how to carry yourself, the mindset you have, your character, and how you choose to treat others in order to get results. Mm. Brenda Harrington was on the show, and she talked about her book, Access Denied, A 
addressing workplace disparities and discrimination. And Juana bore this, <laughs> the power of Latino leadership, culture, inclusion, and contribution, ahora, made us all want to dance. In the area of emotions and leadership, we had Andrea Maine DeWitt, and her book was Name, Claim, and Reframe, Your Path to a Well-Lived Life. And also, she you can pre-order a workbook that goes with this book, and that's due out in April of 2024. Andrea offered us a way to language our challenges and realign our perspectives authentically. Dina Patton joined us, and her book was The Greatness Game, and that reminded us that being great is a game worth playing. And Dr. Eileen Cohen, and her book was When It's Never About You, and she we also covered her other book, Forgiveness Workbook, and those just helped us so much, and When It's Never About You really helped me to understand people-pleasing, <laughs> like no one before. And then there were just a couple that were just plain old fun. We had Holly Butler, and her book was Me, Myself, and Marilyn, Travails of a Love-Hungry Look-Like, which reminded us that self-love is as important as diamonds are. And Bonnie Kogos, her book was The Boat That Brings You Home. And she has a new book out called The Worldly Travelers. And it's about the lives and journeys that change the world. I hope you'll check these books and authors out for your wish list. I'm so grateful to all of them for coming on the show and sharing their voices with us. As we look forward to 2024, be prepared for more great books, authors, and more leadership topics to research. Next week, we'll cover some more last-minute gift ideas for yourself or others. I'll offer you my top 12 books we've covered on the show without the authors, like Brene Brown, Corey Mascara, Jay Shetty, and others. Books that are just too important not to include in your library and get on your gift list. Thanks for being here, and talk to you soon. Bye!